Intikab was a world champion miler. He won eight races by an aggregate of 24 lengths. Let us remind ourselves of the breathtaking performance at Royal Ascot in the Queen Anne Stakes. In the rearview mirror were among men who went on to win the Group 1 Sussex Stakes and Cape Cross, who won the Queen Anne Stakes the following year. This was very impressive. Seasoned experts still talk about the race as one of the great performances at Royal Ascot. With the white cap about to be tackled by among men, starting to move up on the far side is into cab in behind them, center stalls. They're followed by a Mushtarak Pachin behind them. Great Dane under the whip from Reunion. A furlong left to go though, and into cab on the outside ranges up, grabs the lead, and in the twinkling of an eye, it's Frankie Dettori and into cab who have cleared away. And into cab's going to win the Queen Dan by a street. Into cab being punched out goes on to win by the best part of six lengths. Among men second, tight third. We will never tire of seeing Intikab's daughter Snow Fairy scythe through the field at Epsom to win the Investic Oaks. On the outside of Aviate, Ramouche towards the inside, changing course, Bikini Bay. Misner tries to stay on with Cabaret. Still, Actorina leads Marie de Medici, and on the outside, Gertrude Bell. Aviate pulled out into fourth place. Misner running a mighty race. Ramouche in traffic, Snow Fairy in traffic. As Remember When pulls out with a determined challenge on the fence, Actorina. Remember When and Misner running a mighty race. Then Gertrude Bell and Snow Fairy thundering home from the back of the field. Inside the final 150, Snow Fairy in red and yellow from Meisner and Remember When. And Snow Fairy colliding with the inside running rail on a couple of occasions, but doing enough and supplemented will gain the biggest payday by winning the Oaks. She followed up at the Curra, of course, then set out on her travels. This year, she has won the Prix Jean Romanet at Deauville. Entre de la dernière ligne droite avec Galikova qui passe maintenant à l'attaque Taipis à l'extérieur, Sidiouma qui vient, Giofra maintenant qui est lancé à l'extérieur, Isitov et puis Snowfiri également qui tente de revenir, Taipis avec Galikova, Sidiouma également accompagné par Sir of Albright qui vient encore avec Isitov maintenant qui est lancé complètement à l'extérieur, Snowfiri également qui pour sa rentrée vient de plus en plus fort, la championne Snowfiri qui fait son retour ici et qui va triompher, Snowfiri, 6 victoires de groupe 1, Isitov est deuxième, Galikova est troisième. And the Red Mills Irish champion stakes at Leopardstown, beating Nathaniel and St Nicholas Abbey. And here she comes, St Nicholas Abbey is reeling them in on the outside. Now they race to the final 200 yards. It's Snow Fairy and Frankie Dottori in front of Nathaniel. St Nicholas Abbey on the outside, but it's the globe trotting princess. Snow Fairy wins the Red Mills champion stakes for Frankie Dottori. As we speak, she's won nine times. Seven of them were Group 1s and over four million in prize money. But it's not all Snow Fairy. Red Evie won seven consecutive races, including the Matron and the Lockinge. Moon Unit was in the first four in 13 black-type races. So Intikar's progeny bring a fantastic portfolio of achievement. You can understand TDN's Bill Oppenheim rating him as spectacular value. His yearlings made up to 80,000 euros, so he really is worth much more than a second look.